Hi, this is Mr. New, and welcome to another episode of Illustrator CS5 for East Career and Technical Academy. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at some of the 3D tools that are in Illustrator CS5. So we'll go ahead and get started. Before we get started, however, I want you to go ahead and create a folder on the desktop. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go out to Safari, and we are going to look for a few images. So we'll go to images.google.com, and we're going to search for drink labels. There's a couple of labels out here that I'm really interested in. First of all, I'd like to grab this lemonade label. So we'll click on that, get full size, drag that out to our folder on the desktop. There's also another one out here I really like. It is an old fashioned looking logo. Come out here to one that's called New Style. And we'll go ahead and drag that one out here as well. Okay, and then we'd like to look for a soda label. So let's go up here and just type in Coke. No affiliation to the drink whatsoever. But I like this can label right here, so I'm going to drag that out, drop that in my folder as well. Go ahead and close Safari at this time. So now we open Illustrator. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to convert those three labels to symbols. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Let me slide this over first. I'll go ahead and open up my labels and have them right over here to the side. And I'm going to drag and drop them right here just outside my artboard. I'll go ahead and drag all three of them out. And go ahead and close this now and I'll open this back up. So as I click on the first label I want to convert this so if I go to live trace click on that little down arrow I want photo high fidelity because I want to really keep as much quality as I can and now if I click and drag this and hover over symbols and then drag back out and drop it in the gray area it will allow me to create a new symbol so let's call this coke and now that symbol shows up in that folder. I'll do the same thing with new style. Live trace, photo high quality, click, drag, and drop it. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing with eliminate. I may not use it for this lesson, but let's go ahead and have it out there anyhow. There we go, drop that. And now they're all there. We don't need these anymore, so we're just going to go ahead and select and delete those off of our art area here. So let's go ahead and uh, close our symbols for now. We'll bring that back up when we need them. All right, to show off what the 3D tool is all about, I am going to just grab my brush tool and just form just a little squiggly design here on the side. And if I zoom in on that, you'll kind of see that's exactly what it is, a little squiggly. If I select that, and then change my stroke color to something nice and bright. I'll go ahead and pick yellow for this. It doesn't matter the thickness of the point. We do not want to fill. In fact, I'm going to make it as simple as possible. Let's make this basic and not the oval. So we have this really simple design there. If I go up to Effects, 3D, Revolve, and then I'm going to just go ahead and accept this right where it is, okay? And now we get this very cool looking bell-shaped object. I can make changes to this. If I click off, select my direct select tool. If I just wanted to change, say, an anchor point, maybe pull that in a little bit more and make this more of a bell shape, it will keep making those adjustments on however I want to move these around. If I want this to be from a different direction, I can go back out to Appearance, click on 3D Revolve, slide this over to the side so I can see what I'm doing. Click on preview and I can literally drag this box and move it around to a new position. So let's kind of pull it like that so we're looking at it from underneath. So this is the 3D revolve option. Let's go ahead and close that for now. Go back to full screen. I'll push this up in the corner. Notice too that it does pretty much just stay to that initial path. So if I click off of it, we just see the 3D image. The next thing I want to show you is text. Let's go ahead and grab the type tool. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. We're going to type something out here. Okay, so we just typed out something real simple. I'm going to select it all. We're going to find a font that's going to be nice and bold. In fact, I kind of like this Cooper Black. Let's go ahead and grab Cooper Black. And we're going to change it to, say, 48 points, nice and big. And let's pick a fill color. I like going with the bright colors. We'll go with a red fill. And let's go with maybe a lighter orange stroke. And now that we have that selected, Effect, 3D, Extrude, and Bevel. 
And with this, I want to warn you, if you're not working on one of the faster machines, you're going to want to avoid the bevel. It will add a bevel to the face of the font, but uh, it has a tendency to freeze up these computers unless you're working on one of the four gig machines. So let's avoid that for right now, but we can adjust the bevel depth. I'm going to make it a little bit deeper. Let's go to 75 and we can even preview it and see what it looks like. And I'm also going to go ahead and drag this around to kind of reset it, maybe about like that. Click OK. And now we have 3D type just kind of jumping out at us. In fact, uh, what I think I may want to do with that, let's go with a yellow stroke. And that's going to give us a little bit even brighter look even more. There we go. I like that. Kind of nice. So we're going to move that up and out of the way. Now realize every time you move it, it will re-render that object. Two more things I want to do is I want to show you how to create a bottle image and a soda can. So we're going to need some rulers and guides for this. So let's pull our ruler up and I'm going to change my ruler to inches. And I've already kind of did some math here to figure out the best way it's going to look. So we're going to go with a guide at six inches, another guide at roughly about six and three eighths, and then another guide at seven. I'm going to pull guides down, one at four inches, one at about, let's say, six and a half. Let's go to six. And then a final guide all the way down to nine looks good. Let's go to nine. So we're going to create a bottle in here. Let me zoom in on this so we can kind of see this nice and big here. I like working close up, so we're going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more here and start working at the top. And once we start working, we want to keep our pen tool alive. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the pen tool. And we're going to start down just a little ways off of the second line. This is our center point at six inches. So I'm going to start just a little bit right here. So I'm going to click, go up here to this point, click. And now I'm going to click and drag just a tiny bit. Click, drag just a little more. And notice I have a fill color going. That's okay. I'm just going to ignore that for now. I should have shut the fill off. And then click right there. So this is the lip of my bottle. I'm now going to come down and click just down at this first line and drag just slightly to create the neck. But we just want a slight little bend there. Come down here to the shoulder, click and drag downward, create more of the shoulder of the bottle. Once again, ignoring the fill. We're gonna roll down to the bottom here and click and drag at this point. Just pull a little bit, we get a little bit of bow in that bottle. And maybe again down here. And then finally, right at the center point. So this is now our bottle. Let's go back to full view again. We're gonna shut off our fill color. We don't want any fill at all. So red slash for the fill. We're going to choose white as our stroke. With white as our stroke chosen, we're going to go to Effects, 3D, Revolve. And we're going to go to Map Art. Now, what's happening here, I'll slide this over so we can try to see all of this at once. We have a red part that is showing in our wireframe. And this is what one of 14 is. So we want to keep going until we find something that resembles the outside of our bottle. Now this may look like it, but what's happening is we want to see this as white in this area. Right now it's not, so this is probably the inside of the bottle. Let's keep going, there'll be another one popping up here soon. And there it is, this is the outside of our bottle. We're going to choose our label. Let's go with that old fashioned looking label that we created, new style. And with new style chosen, we're gonna drag it right in here. Uh, this little round part here is the, the shoulder. So this might be a good spot right here. We don't have to do much resizing. We can preview it. If we click on preview, it will actually render and preview that artwork to see if we have it in a good spot. That looks actually really nice. Let's go ahead and click OK. OK again. We'll hide our guides and click off of our object. And now we have a bottle of new style drink. OK, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and create a soda can. Let's bring our guides back. Now with this, we're going to have one vertical line at two inches. And I've kind of found the best thing is about four inches tall, but only one inch wide. So let's take another one out at three inches. So that's gonna be the width of our can. And let's have our can from down here at the nine inch mark. We'll go nine, that's one, two, three, four. We'll bring another guide down to the five inch mark. And that's gonna be the height of our can. Unlock the other guides and delete those. We don't need these other guides now. We're just going to be using this set of guides right in here. So let's zoom in a little bit tighter. 
There we go, zoomed in, and we're gonna grab our pen tool again. This time we need to think about what a soda can actually looks like. There's a little bit of lip on a soda can, so we're gonna start right here. So click once, come out to here, probably about to that point, click, come up, click, and now we want to get our top little lip of that soda can. There we go. And soda cans have kind of this odd little shape to them. And now we're gonna go ahead and start the top shoulder of the can. So that's the very top of our soda can. We'll bring it now down to the bottom. We can drag a little bit. We have a little bit of a bow there. Probably a little bit more here. And one more click there. So that's our soda can. We'll go ahead and select that. We're going to change the stroke of this to a gray. That'll give us more of a silver look to the can. And then if we go to Effect, 3D Revolve again. It's time we go to our map art. And we're looking for that same design we looked at before. Now remember, this one is the inside because this area is dark. There should be one more that's going to be the outside of the can. We're getting awfully close. There it is, 24 of 24. And that is the outside of our soda can. Let's go out to our symbols. We'll grab our Coke symbol. Now this one's awfully big, so we need to scale it down. So if I hold the shift key down, it will constrain it. And it looks like right about there is going to be great. Now the thing is, if this label is bigger than the can, that's not a problem. Because what's going to happen is we can rotate it and actually rotate to see the back of the can. But I kind of like it from this angle right about there. So let's go ahead and preview it to make sure it's going to look right. Okay, that's a little low, but I think we're going to be okay with that. Let's go ahead and click OK and OK. Let's go ahead and blow this up. So now we have the 3D tools. So have fun with these and be creative. And we will catch you on the next episode.